Hi there again, Simon Weston uh, taking a look today at fantastic Korean lady player Sayuri Park. We took a look at her swing with a previous video and a swing analysis but I want to take a look at one other thing that may help you understand this, this golf swing a little better. A lot of golfers are under the, the uh, idea that the, the swing arc from the, uh, from the face on view would look something something like this, you know, where the, the golf is in the middle and the, the club and the arms just swing around the body in a circle. It's nice and consistent and uh, very simple, but certainly not exactly what's happening. So when I was a young guy, I, I was under the illusion that that was true and probably didn't help me a lot. But what I want to do is explain to you what really is going on in a great golfer's swing as we, as we have here. And Looks like she's probably using a three wood for this example. And what I'll do here, I'll just trace the club head position as it's as it's moving back every every couple of feet through the air. So you see a lovely wide takeaway backswing and uh, top of the backswing position. Now we talked about in the swing analysis video if you've looked at that already as she as she reaches towards the top of her backswing she starts to bump her left hip forward and she's leading from the lower body before the upper body activates followed by the arms and the club now as she's doing that watch where the, cl watch where the club is in the downswing look how far away the club head is from the red line as she, as she went back so if we think of the backswing as, as wide which it certainly is and then she leads forward with her lower body and the upper body follows in the transition with the arms and the club being pulled down it's pretty obvious that this downswing is quite a bit narrower than the backswing and where the, the position the club head passes in its approach down to the golf ball so there you go so it's nice and wide during the backswing, wide in the top of the backswing as she transitions down correctly with the lower body leading this gives the effect of creating a narrower downswing so wide to narrow you can see the evidence here of the right wrist having remained bent into impact and even even after impact and in terms of her swing arc now you see as she goes past the ball starts to get wide again really wide so this simplistic circular type of golf swing is is just not true good players are not making the golf swing in a circular motion it's just not not the case at all this is a very classic movement of a wide back swing wide takeaway still wide at the top lower body leading forward so you can see the narrowing of the swing arc you can see the lag between this club shaft and the left arm as she's coming down. She's able to hold that right wrist bent down into the golf ball. And then post impact, the momentum of that club pulls back out. Her arms are kind of stretched away from her body. Comes up here behind her head. So, lovely golf swing. Something you would see all of the top players doing something like that. Wide, narrow, wide. The kind of thing I see on a regular basis, unfortunately, is golfers make it too narrow of a backswing. As they start the downswing, that, that becomes wider with an early throw of the club. And then they go narrow past the ball. So kind of the opposite of what you see here. So there you go. Hope that clears up a few misconceptions on what the, what the swing arc is. Wide, narrow, wide, people. That's the key. Thank you.